Goku Black's English voice was revealed in Dragon Ball Super Episode 47's dub. And in short, it was a solid performance. They rectified every issue I had with the two Goku Black voices we had prior in Xenoverse 2, the first being the Super Saiyan 4 knockoff, and the other being Super Saiyan Too Much British, I mean Super Saiyan Rosé. Goku Black now has a darker, more sinister version of Goku feel, and that's all we needed. Goku Black is a darker, more sinister version of Goku, that's how he sounds, and Sean Shamel really hit the nail on the head here. Um, but my biggest issue with episode 47's dub is not the voice of Goku Black itself, that's not what I'm here to talk about. The problem with the Goku Black reveal in the English dub is the script, as I think it pales in comparison to the Japanese. And before anyone comments, the reason why I think the Goku Black English lines are inferior has nothing to do with the Japanese being the original, or some other blanket statement like that. For context, the original line spoken by Goku Black is, Finally, today is the day that your life comes to an end, Saiyan. And Goku Black is obviously talking to Trunks in Dragon Ball Super Episode 47. So that's the Japanese line. The English line of that scene goes as follows. It's about time, Saiyan. You've been running around making messes for too long, and now I'm going to choke the life out of you. I can't wait to watch you die. Now, there's an obvious difference between these two lines from Goku Black. The Japanese line is simple, yet effective. It's a clear indicator that Goku Black is a person who shouldn't be fucked with, and he just sounds intimidating. The English version drags that line out way too long, and it could have been streamlined a lot more. There are multiple points Goku Black makes in the English dub, and it's not necessary. One, he establishes that Trunks has been making messes. Number two, he threatens to choke the life out of Trunks. And three, he can't wait to watch him die. He literally threatens Trunks twice in the same line. That's just a little strange to me. This is supposed to be a little taste of Goku Black. We shouldn't hear that much of him yet. And in the English dub, he sounds like a guy who says that he'll do this, this, and this, but never really acts on it. It sounds like he's trying too hard to sound intimidating. To reference the original line from the Japanese version, Goku Black states that Trunks' life will come to an end. He never references himself, which I think adds to the overall scene and makes Goku Black seem more badass in that particular scene. With the English dub line, all simplicity or effectiveness is kinda ruined. Also, while this English dub line is not the longest I've ever heard, it is pretty long, especially for a reveal scene like Goku Black. And honestly, I think these sort of long sentences and these long threats, uh, well, longish in this case, should be saved for Zamasu. When he loses his mind, go ham with the, you know, weird dialogue and the sort of long dialogue. Go ham with that after he loses his mind. That would be awesome to see, you know, Zamasu go on long-winded monologues and stuff. But for Goku Black, it's not necessarily, you know, that needed, in my opinion and it just comes off as a guy, like I said, trying to be intimidating, rather than in the Japanese, just being intimidating on his own because of the whole scene on how that's directed, you know, the shadows, you know, go across his face, and it's just a pitch-perfect scene in the Japanese, and Nazawa's performance, while Shemmel's is good, Nazawa just kills it, and while Sean Shemmel's performance, as I said, is good, the lines, man, they just don't work in this case, and there's just too much going on in that line. It's like they could have said way less, and it would have been way more effective. You know, less is more in this case, in this scene. So what do you guys think about the Goku Black English dub? And, you know, first of all, I want you to answer one question. And that is, what do you think of the voice of Goku Black now that you've heard it in the Dragon Ball Super dub? Uh, in comparison to the Xenoverse 2 dub and the Fighters dub. And number two, the second question I want you to answer is, what do you think of the script of the Goku Black reveal? That's what I want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. Let's get a proper discussion going. Now that's going to do it for me though. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later.